what we are going to talk about is how can we prevent cancers from happening prevention just like any other disease like hypertension diabetes you know hypertension can be prevented if you uh, take less of fat less of salt take care and uh, uh, take care of your anger similarly diabetes can be prevented by not being overweight by not having sugar as much so similarly cancers can also be prevented yes don't be surprised and this is not me who is talking the world health organization has said that 30 to 50% of cancers can actually be prevented from happening to you so we'll just go through my blog which i had written somewhere around 1 year back and we'll just go through it let's see what it says there are six tips to reduce risk of hap- of cancer happening to you let's see what they are one of the most important thing is that now our physical activity has gone really down people are getting overweight and obese so overweight and obese because of lot of fatty food and not becoming physically active this is a very deadly combination even the world health organization has mentioned that one out of four adults now it's a global public health problem and one out of four adults do not meet the criteria of physical activity it means that one out of four are actually not doing as much of physical activity as world health organization would have expected them to do and what this results in this results in overweight and obesity and overweight and obesity causes cancers such as esophageal cancers colon and rectal cancers breast cancers endometrium cancers that is gynecological cancers ovary stomach and kidney cancer almost every part of the body let's see what else causes cancer our diet so if you just give a thought when we were kids we never had pizzas pastas and burgers and things of this sort this is basically a western culture that we have incorporated in our diet pattern now these things are not bad i'm not saying that they are bad but if these things such as pizzas and pastas and burgers are are being taken without a very good physical activity then it results into being overweight and obese obese now this is a very very deadly combination so dietary fat per se does not found to increase cancers such as breast or colon but definitely prostate however if you are physically inactive it may cause all of these cancers in our body now obesity and overweight is a very very big uh, childhood issue as well uh, obes- uh childhood obesity childhood hypertension is a very very major issue and most of them is because of this when we were kids we used to go out and hang around and even play sweat it out but nowadays technology driven or security wise we're not sending our kids to outside world and ask them to play you know that this is a big reason that our physically our physical activity is going really down the second thing is red meat again this is something that we have incorporated from the west red meat causes colon and rectal cancers colon and rectal cancers never used to happen in indian scenario it was actually a disease of the western countries but now as and when we have started eating red meat also quite a lot we are seeing lot of obese patients in indian scenarios and we are seeing lot of colon cancers from happening in indian in india and the subcontinent as well so let's see it has been observed that 100 grams per day of red meat increases risk of harboring cancer by 17% and 50 grams of processed meat results in 18% increased chances of developing cancer now what is processed meat processes processed meat is where uh, they preserve the meat in refrigerators in chilled refrigerators with in adding ingredients such as preservatives to them now that is called a processed meat such as sausages salami frozen meat smoked meat and and this is actually even more dangerous than just having red meat so processed meat 18% increase a normal red meat 17% increase even then it is 100 grams per day fine 
have you also realized how were your refrigerators when you were a kid in in the 80s or 70s and 80s even in 90s and how is your refrigerator now your refrigerators in 80s was only one fourth of it if this was the refrigerator your fridge only this much part was your freezer and now almost 50% of your refrigeration is actually freezing so you can understand why cancers are increasing nowadays of course apart from the pesticides that we are using you cannot avoid them you cannot eat organic food all the time but there are certain things that you can really avoid fruits and vegetables should be incorporated in your diet it is very very important it has certain properties um which can actually avoid and prevent having cancers uh, things like curcumin haldi is definitely cancer protective you should use curcumin in your diet dairy products so research indicates intake of low fat dairy products such as toned milk protects against breast cancers especially in premenopausal women and calcium intake has also shown to reduce cancer of the digestive tract especially the colon and the rectum cancers hence milk is definitely protective high glycemic foods will increase obesity and hence cause cancer omega 3 fatty acids and dietary fish are cancer protective agents nevertheless it's very important to mention that alcohol in excess can cause cancer and hence we should avoid taking such uh, things in our diet infections such as human papilloma virus infections can cause cervical cancers so being uh, healthy take precautions again human papilloma virus infections can cause uh, can can prevent oral cancers upper aero digestive tract cancers food pipe cancers cervical cancers in women similarly hepatitis b and hepatitis c uh, has has shown to have uh, liver cancer now we have we have vaccines against human papilloma virus hepatitis b virus and then and hence these vaccines can protect us against only some type of cancers not all type of cancers and since we have these vaccines we should definitely use them environmental exposures if you are living in delhi gurgaon bombay bangalore metropolitan cities um kolkata uh you are smoking every day so you really cannot help but definitely be aware of uh, certain gases arsenic in your drinking water and these things can definitely help in reducing the exposure with covid now the pollution has gone down to less than 10 which where in place like delhi where i am staying it used to be as high as around 200 so probably it's a blessing in this guys with the corona but definitely not very good tobacco use now the sixth and the most important point is tobacco now tobacco is still the number one killer for cancers it can affect any part of the organ any part of the body any organ of the body and can cause cancer so the more i talk about tobacco the less it is this is the number one cause we should totally avoid taking tobacco in whatever form be it in smoking or or um, ingestion or anything in any form so tobacco should be totally condemned and totally stopped so these are the total six tips of how to prevent cancer from happening uh, to anyone so be very much aware read a lot and stay away presently i would just say stay safe and keep social distancing in the era of covid-19 stay safe take care goodbye